Hi uh, guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 46th Commitments of Traders Report of 2023. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are new to COT analysis here at cotbase.com, you'll find a lot of educational material uh, explaining to you what the Commitments of Traders Report is all about how you can analyze it. <clears throat> we also have some very useful videos as well that can guide you through the analysis process, uh, not only on our website, but we do have some great playlists and videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, let's get started. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, listed the largest changes in commercials net positions based on a 52 week look back period. We're analyzing net positions the classic, or as CFTC calls it, legacy data, futures and options combined data type. You can actually look at futures only or options only. Uh, we have, of course, newer COT report types. There's definitely a lot to do with regard to COT analysis, but these reviews do give you uh, um, a basic uh, analysis on, on what's going on. And again, as I, I tell you many times, classic uh, COT report types have the longest history um, so they are very, very um, efficient, useful. Uh, if you're somebody who really wants to go into the nitty uh, gritty details, um, what traders are doing, you may uh, want to look at disaggregated traders and financial futures or commodity index traders, uh, CO2 report types. So platinum is on top of a list with a 29% change in commercials net positions. Commercials represented with the red line over here. Large speculators are in green, and we've got small speculators, or as CFTC calls them, non-reportables. They're simply not reaching reporting limits. Uh, they're in blue on a separate scale chart because they're, uh, of course, trading in much smaller volume. So platinum uh, is uh, showing a 29% change in commercials net position. It is a bullish chain signal suggesting strengthening. Now, uh, one thing I should point out that we have seen a rise this week. So I would say this signal could be a little bit late for us. Now, nevertheless, it can, you know, this momentum can continue on. Uh, and if you look at the magnitude of this change in commercials net position, it is much greater than average. Um, we have seen greater changes in the past, uh, of course. Uh, and you can see just, just around these bottoms, we do see these bullish uh, changes if, you, if we look at these examples here. So this, this may be signaling something uh, of a similar move and we could see another week of, of strengthening here in platinum. Uh, moving to a five year chart, we get a chance to examine the stress level in this market, which is bullish. Like if you look at, uh, uh, doesn't matter commercials or large speculators, you can see that they're very close to their bullish COT extreme. So not only do we have our shorter term signal, the change signal pointing upwards, but actually the uh, longer term uh, COT extreme analysis is also giving us a hint that we may see higher prices coming in platinum. Natural gas is our next market, 28% change over here. Uh, let's go to the one year's chart and there you go. You can see we have a bullish change signal. The size of this is much greater. I'd say definitely top three, possibly the largest change uh, just by looking at the uh, changes in the past. Uh, and it is coming in a point in time when uh, natural gas is falling. So I, I like these type of uh, uh, signals. It is suggesting we could see a bounce upwards in the near term. Five years chart, here we go. You can see that we are more or less in between the two major extremes. So you can see on this five years back from January of 2020, the most bullish COT extreme preceding this bottom, which of course came a couple months later. Uh, that's the tricky part of, of course, COT analysis is it doesn't, doesn't necessarily pinpoint the exact bottom, but it does show you uh, how traders are, are shifting their uh, belief systems. And uh, it's good to see at low, you know, relatively low prices, a bullish extreme, you can kind of be prepared that it, you know, it's gonna, it's not necessarily gonna continue down into whatever territory. So, um, <clears throat> Right now, as I said, we could see greater extremes um, if if we're looking at a bullish one. And of course, the same applies for a bearish one. So it's really the change signal at this moment that I'd, I'd say is something of a interest in natural gas. Another energy market to follow crude oil, uh, the Brent uh, crude oil to be specific. Here we have a 25% uh, change in commercials net positions. Now, if you look at the chart, uh, you can see that it's not like it is greater than average, that's for sure, but uh, nothing huge. If you are planning on 
you know, going long, it's good to know that the change signal from the commitments of trade report is supporting uh, your trade. Uh, nevertheless, I would not consider this to be such a huge, huge uh, change size, uh, but it is coming after prices uh, have came down quite, uh, quite a bit. Uh, the five years chart, here we go, is showing us no significant COT extreme. So it's pretty much it. We can move on and have a look at large speculator COT extreme analysis where we can find a couple markets uh, from these past reviews. So we have the Canadian dollar on top of our list with a 333 report extreme. So it has taken uh, large speculators 333 reports to reach this extreme. The reason we, we, we call these report extremes is because uh, back many, many years ago at the very beginning uh, when C CFTC started publishing these reports, uh, COT reports were coming on a monthly basis. Then they sh shifted to bi-weekly. Uh, bi uh, today they're, they're weekly. Who knows, maybe one day we can reach a, a daily uh, commitments of traders report. Or if you subscribe to our wonderful ICOT intraday indicator, you can actually go and take that into the short time frames, minute candlesticks if you wish, or 15 seconds for that matter. It's definitely something uh, that we managed to bring down into the shorter time frames. So, but before we jump there, because um, I will show you an example as I usually do in my COT reviews, but it's gonna be the, uh, the, the Japanese yen. Uh, let's finish off our analysis of the Canadian dollar. So it is a bullish COT extreme. That was the case last week. Not much of a change. It just increased to greater levels. And it is suggesting a bottom happening in the Canadian dollar. So we should be expecting this currency to start gaining um, some strength in the next couple of weeks, months, possibly years ahead of us. So Japanese yen is our next market. 312 report extreme over here. Once again, this is a bullish COT extreme. Nice to see the Japanese yen came down quite a bit. So it is suggesting that we may be witnessing a bottom soon. Uh, who knows, uh, we may even reach an all time COT extreme. So bullish, 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 bullish COT extreme over here. Now this is the time where I'm gonna jump over to our wonderful ICOT intraday indicator and the one with the after signal uh, version. So for those who are just joining in, this is an indicator that we developed after many years of research and uh, study. Uh, we wanted to bring classic COT analysis into the intraday time frame, which obviously is not something that CFTC has accomplished because that's a report gathered from markets from uh, uh, major futures uh, and options traders. Uh, however, by back uh, testing these um, uh, systems and doing a lot of uh, analysis, we, we did manage to come up with our own scoring method uh, that has a very similar um, uh, way of analyzing markets. That's the ICOT intraday indicator. Uh, and here at uh, under example charts, you may actually find some final uh, from great examples of different markets and showing these on, on uh, of course, short time frames, five minute, one minute candlesticks. Uh, this chart over here, which uh, gives you the different type of signals is on a gold one minute candlestick chart and you can see that we have speculators we have commercials and we have these wonderful signals the yellow little diamonds over here are when we have a extreme in commercials position speculators uh, extreme can be seen when the candlestick color changes to blue and when both happen at the same time supported by the balance line this gray little line over here uh, then we get these vertical red in case of sell signals or green in case of buy signals. Uh, we call them stripe signals and these are very, very exciting to see. So uh, anybody who's interested in that, you can come here and check it out. Um, I'm gonna go back over here and of course, um, finish off just to this example. So this is the US dollar Japanese yen. So of course it's the kind of the reverse what we just saw. Uh, that was the Japanese yen measured in dollars. This is the US dollar measured in Japanese yens, but this is the chart that most people trade. So um, this is, I think, something you should uh, look at. So this is a, a great example after signal. You're getting all these uh, signals from the market. So we have an extreme. The extreme is taking place for quite some time, quite some time. This is a one hour candlestick chart, by the way. And then after signal tells you when the time has come to actually act upon those signals. And I think that's a very great example of how that you can benefit from the after signal. Now, once you got down, you actually get a wonderful buy signal and it takes you back up. So um, I think it's, it's, it's 
it, it speaks for itself. Um, it's, it's a great supplemental tool. Uh, you can actually take this into the very short time frames if, if you wish. I'm going to show you here. You have a one minute candlestick chart, and uh, there you go. So, um, same thing on, on short time frames as well. Uh, by the way, this is a default setting for the chart. Very, very uh, useful to know. It supplements well the longer term uh, analysis that we do uh, with classic COT uh, data published by uh, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. You can once, uh, you know, when you get an understanding of the longer term picture, you may take uh, the ICOT internet indicator to help you better maneuver in the shorter time frames, you know, trade implementation, when to enter, when to exit a market and, and so on. So last but not least, we have the Kansas City wheat where we have 169 report extreme in large speculators. Uh, this is a bullish extreme, of course. And once again, the good thing is that we are witnessing this when the market is uh, coming down. So it is signaling that sooner or later, we should be expecting a bottoming in this market, after which, of course, we'd see uh, the wheat uh, rise. So that's COT analysis on the wheat market. So there's a lot to do here at cotbase.com. If you'd like, you can, of course, dig into the data uh, deeply. We have uh, individual markets over here in this gray panel. We've talked about the Canadian dollar. So here you go. This is what you'd see if you want to dig into that separate data. You can actually download the data if you're a pro member um, and, uh, you know, do whatever you want with the uh, the data itself, if you want to analyze it on a, uh, on, in a different manner. Uh, but of course, we do have uh, our tools uh, available, classic COT analysis tools in a Ninja Trader as well. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or send us an email to info at cotbase.com. I do appreciate your attention. Thank you very much for being with me. Have a wonderful weekend and see you next time.